Hey everyone, in case you hear some cheering outside, there's a, a football match. It's actually that way, but the wind that you'll hear with the door is carrying the sound. There's a, an oval across the road, so there's a footy match going on. Anyway, update time. Lots has happened over the last week. Uh, pretty exciting. I'm going to give you all a look at uh, everything that's been going on, but not through this camera view because it's pretty uh, average. I'll turn the camera around and yeah, let's have a look at all the cool things that's happened. Okay, firstly, Homer is down. Hi, Homer. Still on the board, but not on the wall anymore. And I have power all through the wall here, all to the subboard, although the subboard is not finished yet. If we come all the way around here, you can see power, 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 uh, 10 amp, mix of 10 amp and 15 amps. And there is the subboard over there, still being worked on. Three phase over here for the compressor. But if I pull back, you'll see a few new additions. We have air conditioning unit, split system up on the wall. The compressor is outside and it's all wired up and ready to go. All the power and everything for it goes through the, um, the gap between the two concrete slabs. So that's exciting. And I've got cable tray which has been hung properly now, and I've got some cables on there. They're obviously just resting on there right now. Three phase cable and some 15 amp cable. There was also 10 amp going up there as well. There's lots of uh, 10 amp and 15 amp that's gonna be dropping down via pendants to the ground. Uh, all the power will be on one side of the cable trays. There's two 300 mil trays. So all the power will be on the right hand side and then air and exhaust and other stuff will be on the left hand side so that is all progressing and of course the ceiling is finished dun, dun, dun. and it looks pretty awesome now there is no light on downstairs right now right well the lights are off but it's pretty bright i've got some lights on upstairs it's still pretty bright the Skylights worked great, as you can see, and plenty of light coming in from them. But obviously with the LED lights on, it gets super bright in here. Got the emergency backup light as well. I'll just turn the lights on just to show you. They're gonna flicker in a moment. They come on in stages. But um, yeah, it's pretty bright in here to work. And I'm also going to add a couple of the LED panels underneath here. There we go, flicker, flicker. Uh, probably two of them, one there and one further down to add more light. That'll be on a switch over the machines if I need. But yeah, that came out awesome. Really, really happy with this. So, the other thing I'm going to put in, and I'm going to have to get the scissor lift back again, unfortunately. I'm not going to do it yet, but I'm going to do it soon, is I'm going to put a fan up here, a spinning fan, a very slow moving spinning fan, just to be able to turn on and push air around down here, on, uh, specifically on um, super cold or super hot days where I need to push either hot air down, because hot air rises, or on a hot day where um, I need to move the cold air up. So that'll come in at some stage, but for now, this is all going well. I've got um, points down on this side as well, but I haven't uh, done anything again with those there wired into the sub panel, so they don't work yet. And I've started terminating network cables. Yay, as you can see on the ground. So um, going slowly. Uh, got a few done and tested. So that's all been happening while I've been waiting for paint to dry. So let's go upstairs. Let's try to do it steady. Before I show the upstairs, I'm just gonna angle down so I don't do any spoilers. I gotta show you my new shoes. I'm officially a workman now because I've got work boots so excited. I've always wanted a pair of steel cap work boots. And you know, 
Cluts see on, needs them. So the ceiling is done up here as well. Oh, I can't show you the ceiling without the walls. So let's go to the walls. So the walls are painted. That's the back wall. Side wall. And, oh, holy moly, look at that. Okay, I just put the third coat on about 10 minutes ago. So I can't show it to you without the masking tape. But how insanely awesome does this look? I'm trying to get back through. There's a ladder behind me. I really don't want to trip on it. I'm trying to get back so you can kind of see it all and fit it all in. Anyway, super stoked with that. Only uh, a couple of minor casualties on the paint. Might have accidentally spilled a tiny smidge of blue paint on the gray area. What are you gonna do? So the power points are in here and they are working. They're live. My lights are in, as you can see. Um, and they are all now controlled from a new four point panel here. So I can turn off, like I was hoping, each section of two. So, like that. If I turn them all off and just leave the skylights, it's still pretty cool in here. I can still work in here under this light. But now I can turn on the lights in different sections. So on weeks that I'm streaming, for instance, I might want to turn off these four over here because I'm maybe sitting down that end. I don't know where I'm going to sit yet. Desk is going to go along here. Um, now, PowerPoint's up here. I've actually, thanks Mike Kowser for suggesting it. You can't get colored face plates for these particular type of four gang plates. So I just painted them literally 20 minutes ago. They're a bit wet still, they're drying. That's the second coat, might need to do more coats. But I've painted the face plates for these two because this is a feature wall. Uh, there might be some little shells over there and there might be something over there, but this is the logo wall and the feature wall. And so painted the covers for that. The network plate is unfortunately is white. I'm probably have to do the same thing. It would have been really cool if I had, in hindsight, <laughs> moved all of those over to the side there or all the way over there to not have them here. But too late now. Um, but remember the air conditioning was going to go there. That's why I figured it didn't matter, but my air conditioning didn't go there. My air conditioning went there and that is in and it is working and it's great. I've been using it today to help me with, um, drying off each coat. I've put it on fan mode on power and it's just been belting air around up here, which has been fantastic. So. Heating and cooling is in upstairs and working. It's in downstairs, but it's not uh, powered up yet because of the sub panel. Um, my walls are painted. The blues had three coats, uh, the gray here and the charcoal has had two coats each. I think they're fine, but the blue just looks insane. It's still a little bit wet. You can see there's a couple little patches that are bright. They're just because it's wet, but um, yeah. We started to get the masking tape off. Came off the these walls really well. Had no issues. So um, yeah, my Keystone Jacks arrived for here, but I can't terminate them yet because the crimper that came with them, they're a toolless Keystone Jack, which means you put the wires in and you just put them in a crimper and it does it all for you. You don't have to actually go and use a pushing tool to push all the bits in. But uh, even though I ordered both the Keystone Jacks and the Crimper from the same supplier, he sent them in two different packages, two different tracking numbers, and the Keystone Jacks arrived yesterday, and the Crimper is at least 10 days away still. I have no idea why they did that. Really frustrating. So I can't terminate this end yet. But I have done the ones that are in the roof, and you can't see them now, but they're up there. So I have two network cables up there tested, uh, one is for a Wi-Fi access point, as I've mentioned before, which is going to go about here, which has been ordered. Hopefully I'll have it next week. And with the same order, I've got 
uh, Ubiquiti uh, IP camera, just a, a 1080p camera. I didn't really want to pay a thousand bucks for a 4K camera. I just want to use it, maybe set it up for security. We'll see, but that's also going to go in the roof somewhere. So it is all coming together. Unfortunately, Sparky's won't be back for another seven days, seven to nine days, which means this sub panel and the downstairs still won't get finished until next week. It is Saturday today, so that's a bit of a shame. Um, it means I'm still not gonna be able to move in for a week and a half or so, but now that it's painted up here, and especially once I can terminate these network points, I can actually start shifting some things into here, some of the smaller things, my shelves and just boxes of stuff and get them out of my home workshop, which means I'll be able to then get the bigger stuff out. Right now I can't get the big stuff out of the workshop because the small stuff is all in the way. But um, yeah, this is just kick-ass color. This is my favorite color, my favorite blue, it's like an azure blue and um, yeah, hopefully it comes out okay in the video. It's very bold, very bright, and very nice. Still to put on the wall here are uh, white shelves. And obviously my desks are gonna be going white, desks are gonna be going along here. So even though the floor looks white at the moment, which is making the walls bright, when the, this all comes off, it will be back to this black color, which will probably darken the walls a little bit. There'll be less light reflecting, bouncing off it from the lights above. But once I put the white desks in and the white shelves, that'll help to really pump things out again. So there it is. Pretty exciting. Well, that's the update. I uh, hope you yep, enjoyed it. <laughs> I know. I hope you enjoyed seeing it more than I enjoyed doing it. It's been pretty tiring over the last week. Uh, I've been up at five, quarter to five every day, pretty much. Um, had trading started between you know quarter to seven and seven, uh, six thirty one day. Uh, all week so it's been pretty rough and then obviously I've worked all day here renovating come home at night some nights and worked late in the office to try to get stuff done um, but I'm getting close now and uh, it's looking great very happy with it and the ceiling works really well it was actually um, fairly warm the other day and inside here it was nice like it was t-shirt weather like I was you know if I stuck my head if I took a tile out and stuck my head in the roof it was at least 10 or 15 degrees warmer in the roof cavity. So the, um, the bats are working really well. And it was raining yesterday. And even though I could hear the rain through the door outside there, I couldn't hear the rain above me. So uh, the noise dampening up here is really good. It wasn't a torrential downpour, but still any type of noise deadening is great. Especially if the uh, landlord fixes my door, which apparently he's still supposed to do. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. If you have subscribed, please click the alarm bell to be notified when I have more videos coming out. And I will be streaming this Wednesday from here. I might be sitting on the floor, but at least I have lights, I have internet, and I have a heater. So if it's freezing cold, like last week, I won't be sitting downstairs in the dark, freezing. I'll be upstairs here. Maybe I'll bring a bean bag. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do on the stream, but um, I'll be here working up my notebook. So uh, catch you all on my stream on Wednesday. Okay, see you later. Bye.